Greetings, welcome to this new video about dependent source circuits analysis. Solve the problem number three. Let's consider this network consisting of four resistors labeled R1 through R4 along with one independent voltage source Vs. Additionally, we can observe the presence of a dependent source, especially a current controlled current source. The questions now are to calculate the power dissipated in each resistor and to calculate the power supplied by the voltage source Vs. Let's move on to the solution. We are going to apply Kirchhoff's laws to solve this problem. First, let's select arbitrarily currents for each branch to facilitate the analysis. This is, is the current through R2. IB is the current through the voltage source Vs. And IC is the current through the resistors R3. And 0.5 IO minus IC is the current through the resistor R4. By applying Kirchhoff's current law at node N, we can write IC is equal to IB plus 1.5 IO and I will call this equation 1. Let's move on to Kirchhoff's voltage law. First we need to define the different loops we are going to use. This is, is loop number 1 and this is, is loop number 2. Let's start first with loop 1. By applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in loop 1, we can write negative R1 IO minus R2 multiplying by 1.5 IO plus Vs is equal to 0. By replacing the resistors and the voltage with their numerical values, we obtain negative IO minus 6 IO plus 280 is equal to 0. If we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain negative 7 IO plus 280 is equal to 0. And I will call this equation 2. Let's move on now to loop 2. By applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in loop 2, we can write negative Vs minus R2 IC plus R4 multiplying by 0 0.5 IO minus IC is equal to 0. By replacing the resistors and the voltage with their numerical values, we obtain negative 280 minus 8 IC plus 2 multiplying by 0 0.5 IO minus IC. If we continue simplifying this equation, we obtain finally negative 280 minus 10 IC plus IO is equal to 0. And I will call this equation 3. Let's start first with equation 2. We can write IO is equal to 280 over 7. We get uh, IO is equal to 40 amps. Let's move on now to equation 3. We can write IC is equal to IO minus 280 over 10. If we replace IO with its value, we obtain IC is equal to 40 minus 280 over 10, we get negative 24 amps. Let's move on now to question 1. We can write IB is equal to IC minus 1.5 IO. If we replace IC and IO with their values, we obtain IB is equal to negative 24 minus 1.5 multiplying by 40. Finally, we obtain IB is equal to negative 84 amps. Let's move on now to calculate the dissipated power in each resistor. Let's start first with the dissipated power in the resistor R1 is equal to R1 IO square. We get 1.6 kilowatt. And the dissipated power in the resistor R2 is equal to R2 multiplying by 1.5 IO square, we get 14.4 kilowatt. The dissipated power in the resistor R3 is equal to R3 IC square, we get 4.61 kilowatt. 
and the last one is the dissipated power and the resistor R4 is equal to R4 multiplying by 0.5 IO minus IC square we get 3.87 kilowatt we go now to question B the dissipated uh, the power supplied by the voltage source VS is equal to VS multiplying by the current IB we get 280 multiplying by negative 84 we get negative 23.52 kilowatt after completing the calculation we conduct the simulation using SPICE to verify our results now let's proceed to the SPICE environment here is our circuits drawn in SPICE simulator this is, is the independent voltage source VS and this is, is the, uh, the current control current source and here our resistor R1, R2, R3 and R4 I connect here watt meter to measure the dissipated power in the resistor R1 and here to measure the dissipated power in the resistor R2 and here to measure the, re uh, the dissipated power in R3 and this is to measure the dissipated power in the resistor R4 and this watt meter is to measure the power the power supplied by the voltage source VS let's move on now to analysis they say analysis calculate nodal voltage we can see here that the dissipated power P1 is 1.6 kilowatt the dissipated power P2 is 14.4 P3 is 4.61 kilowatt and P4 is 3.87 kilowatt and the power supplied by the voltage source VS is negative 23.52 kilowatt those values are similar to the value we have done by calculation all right thank you for watching this video if you have any question do not hesitate to contact me by email or leave a comment under this video and i will answer you as soon as possible if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and share see you next time in another video take care and bye bye